And every time he married thereafter, there was a purpose. It was not in order to fulfill his desires, his base desires, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That wasn't a primary objective, but there were objectives connected to so many things that Allah had ordained and inspired him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted the deen to be carried on, to be taken all the way to us, hence the marriage to Aisha radiallahu anha and, and, and the others. Now Aisha radiallahu anha as young and intelligent Someone who would ask many questions, someone who would not only witness what was happening, but register it and process it and convey it. That was one of the main purposes of the marriage with Aisha radiallahu anha. Otherwise, they hardly lived together for, for a long time. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. But she came in for a purpose. Like I said, if you don't know the purpose, go and study it. Here is Nabi Muhammad sallallahu He loved his spouses and he was not afraid to express that love.